Tough Turf, Australia's largest synthetic grass company, offers a complete range of synthetic grass products and accessories. A Tough Turf transformation gives you a low maintenance, long term, cost effective solution that can be installed by yourself. Tough Turf is perfect for many applications your home, play, entertainment, education, sport, and commercial spaces. Take a few minutes to watch our instructional guide as we share with you our secrets for how best to install your Tough Turf for a professional finish on soft ground. It is vital to measure the area where your tough turf will be installed. To minimize waste and cost, establish the quantity of materials needed. With a measuring tape, measure your perimeter and determine how much grass you will need. Next, we have soft ground area preparation. Once you've established the area to be turfed, remove all vegetation and debris. Dig out the existing soil to a depth of approximately 100 millimeters from your surrounding finished height levels. Use a rake to level out the turf area before the crushed rock goes down. Now is a good time to mark out and install any garden beds and edging. Now we're going to lay the sub base. Using crushed rock from your local garden supply yard, spread 60 to 70 millimeters across the surface, making sure it is even and provides a slight fall away from any water drainage. This can be achieved with either a screed or a lawn leveler. Water your crushed rock area and compact it with a vibrating plate. For smaller spaces and corners, stamp using your feet to compact or use a tamper. For a more professional finish, we recommend a 20mm covering of a 5mm crusher dust, again from your local garden supply yard. Carefully water again and wait 10 minutes before compacting. Finally run your lawn level over the area to iron out any small bumps created by the vibrating plate. Now your base should finish approximately 10 to 15mm below your surrounding level. Lay out your tough turf pieces, ensuring the fibers are all facing the right way. Allow your grass to relax for a while. This will remove any creases and help the grass to settle. Remove your salvage strip. As a guide, you should cut off one inch using a sharp utility knife. Place your grass into the desired position. In most cases, you can butt your grass in sideways against your edge and cut both ends to the required length. To cut your grass, fold it back so that it exposes the backing and that it is in line with your finished edge. Use a sharp knife and cut the grass from the backing along the entire length. Pull the two pieces of grass together so that they are as close as possible, but not touching or overlapping. There should be no more than a 5mm gap between the two pieces of grass. Place a marker on the join lines at both ends, then fold back both sides of grass evenly. Use Tough Turf Synthetic Grass Joining Tape. To use the joining tape, roll it out and cut to size. Gently peel off the plastic backing along the entire length of the joint. Then gently place both sides of the turf down on the adhesive tape from one end. You must then carefully fold the grass over, making sure no grass fibers stick to the tape. Using a Tough Turf spiky joining roller, run the roller along the seam continuously for a short period of time to blend the fibers together and provide better adhesion. To secure the edges, use Tough Turf spikes. Nail the grass down as close to the edge as possible with 300mm spacings. When nailing, make sure you nail in between the stitching so that the nail goes in smoothly and grass fibers are not held down by the nail. You should not be able to see the spikes once they are in. Sanding your grass is important to support the base of the fibers preventing the grass from lying permanently flat. Before adding the sand fill, use a power broom or stiff bristled broom to brush the blades upwards. This makes it easier to distribute the sand into the base of the grass. We recommend using approximately 10 to 15 kilograms of dried silica sand for each square meter of grass. A sand spreader or seed dropper will make the job easier and provide a more even spread. Your aim is to get the sand in between the blades of grass and not to let large volumes of sand in one spot as this will cause lumpy grass under the foot. Finally, using a power broom or stiff bristled broom, brush in the sand. This will ensure an even spread of sand and push it into the base of the grass, helping keep the grass standing up and improve the long-term appearance. By taking the time to follow these steps, you will have a quality installation and a fabulous new area to enjoy for many, many years.